If you are wearing an N95 mask and taking all the protective measures issued by WHO during this pandemic of SARS-CoV-19, every time you go out, congratulations, you are pretty much protected. But chances are you do not have N95 mask. N95 masks are fitted around the mouth and the nose and they actually block at least 95% of very small 0.3 micron particles. There is a worldwide shortage of N95 masks and are reserved for healthcare workers and doctors. Besides, they cannot be worn all of the time as they limit oxygen flow substantially and cause bruises on prolonged usage. So there are basically three types of masks available for general public. Surgical masks, DIY cloth masks, masks with exhalation valve. This video highlights the problem with respirator valve masks and why it is wrong choice for healthy people to wear it. The reason why experts want you to wear masks is due to the way coronavirus is spread. The symptoms in a person who is infected can take up to 14 days to show up. And during this time, the virus has multiplied so much, it starts to come out with every breath, every exhalation and suspended in the moisture or droplets of saliva. And thus, seemingly healthy person can infect so many unknowingly. Feeling healthy doesn't necessarily mean you do not have it. That's why everyone should take precautions as though they are already infected. Masks, along with other sides of the safety triad, can help reduce the chances of infection by blocking viruses. The virus travels great distances when a person speaks, coughs, and greater still when he sneezes. You can see how far the droplets go in the slow motion video by JAMA MIT when a person sneezes without masks or any obstruction. The particles may go up to 7 to 8 meters as seen from this video. In this another video by a group of German physicists which employs a special photography technique called Schlerin photography which can be used to see the flow of air, shows how far the respiratory particles go when you breathe in cough. It clearly shows the disruptions caused by masks in the flow reduces the distances these particles travel. These masks cannot block the viruses entering due to low spit, but the first two of the list can prevent the virus leaving the mouth and traveling great distances. So if everyone wears them, and that includes the healthy person too, the spread of coronavirus from respiratory particles is stopped to a much extent. Now that the basic idea of how direct transmission can be stopped if everyone wears masks, let us take a look why masks with respiratory valves defeat the very purpose. Masks like these have valves which open on exhalation to ease breathing. The exhaled air is coming out freely without any filtration of the mask layers. So these masks do not as effectively block the respiratory particles as even a three-layered cloth worn around the mouth can. These masks are meant to be worn in situations with excessive dust pollution. Many states have already banned the masks with valves because a mask with a valve may protect you from some pathogens in the air, but it doesn't protect the people around you from your own breath. Always remember this. We have to think about the health of others if we want to stay away from coronavirus. Do not wear a mask with exhalation valve in public. There can be a dedicated scientific study about what I have just said, and I hope someone conducts this research. But till then, I think our best bet is to avoid these masks. Share this information with everyone around you, and in this unprecedented time, let us take care of each other and survive this pandemic together. Stay safe, stay aware, and stay at home.